Yo man, what up YouTube? Today I'm back with another video. In today's video, bro, I'm finna tell y'all boys how to look 10 times better. And look, bro, you do not have to do nothing crazy. I'm not finna tell you go get no plastic surgery. None of that, bro. This is like, this is just pure you. Stuff you can do and you can change real soon or right now. You feel me, bro? You finna look 10 times better to a lot more girls. I'm finna put y'all on. Let's go. Number one, the first thing you can do to make you look 10 times better, bro, is smell good. It draw a lot more attention to you. If you walking past a girl and you smell good, she gonna be like, who that smelling good like that? She gonna look back. She most definitely gonna look back. Or if you walk up to a girl, you start spinning your game to her. Damn, my hat falling off. My bad, y'all. Look, you know I ain't gonna edit none of it. I'll keep it real with y'all. So, boom. A girl start talking to you. What, this, down the third, or whatever. Y'all start chopping it up. And then she smell you and you step up on her. Oh, wee. Boy, I'm telling you. Just say you were 8 out of 10 to her when you first come up to her. When you, when she, when you step up on her with confidence... And, and, and you smelling good, bro. At this point, you was a 10 out of 10. You went up two points. You went up two points just because you smell good. So make sure you keep some cologne. And get a cologne that you like. Because when you got a cologne that you like, you're going to be more comfortable. You're going to be more confident in the cologne. So make sure you get a cologne that you personally like. And make sure it smell good, bro. And you ain't even got to spend no thousand dollars on no cologne. You feel me? Just get a little smell that you like. You feel me? Number two, man. Keep your face clean. Wash your face and your hair. Kind of like hygiene, bro. You feel me? Like, this going to help you a lot, bro. If you keep your face clear, like, if you got a a, a face routine, like, you ain't got to have a clear skin ever, but that really do help if you got clear skin. You feel me? Like, if you, like, if your genetics and stuff, like, some people just can't get the best, best skin, and that's all right. You feel me? Because everybody's genetics are a little different or whatever. That's cool. But things that help your skin look better, bro, is washing it two times a day. When you first wake up, and when you finna go to bed, bruh, I'm telling you, them the best two, them the best two times to wash your face. That's number one. And number two, bro, keep a cut. When you keep your hair done, keep a haircut, whatever you wanna do, you look ten times better. You ever seen a girl, you ever seen a girl and she didn't have hair and she didn't have her hair done, and you was like, oh, okay, cool. But then when she went and got her hair done, you like, oh, she bad. That's because your hair is a big role into who you is, bro. I'm telling you. Hair is really more important than a lot of things, just your hair. So if you keep your hair up to date, bro, you can have on a basic outfit, but your hair done, and now you got a little haircut, your hair done or whatever, you get a hairstyle that you like. At this point, you look like you got on drip, you feel me? You look like you turning up, and you ain't even got on nothing for real, you feel me? Versus if you having no haircut right now, you looking a little crazy, looking a little tough, you feel me? That junk all playing to part, I'm telling you. Make sure you keep your hair done. Number three, I think this is number three. My bad if I'm wrong. Be bold in your actions. It's that simple. You probably like, be bold. What they got to do with me looking good? A girl love a dominant dude. A girl love a dude that's masculine and love a dude that's dominant. If you a type of dude that beat around the bush, that's nervous, this, down the third, your girl not going to like that because nine times out of ten, she nervous because majority of the time, Females be more timid, you feel me? So when you timid and things like that, and she timid too, and she nervous too, bro, it come off like y'all ain't really gonna work out. But a girl love a dude that's gonna take charge, be assertive, and be dominant and things like that, you feel me? So when you dominant and you go up to her confident, with your chest out, with your chin up, all confident and believing in yourself, she gonna rock with you 10 times more just purely off your confidence and off your boldness. And just purely off you telling her the truth and you purely telling her what's good. Because if you go up to her and you be like, hi, I think I should this, that, and the third. Versus you coming up to her and saying, hey, what's good? My name this, that, and the third. I'm trying to talk to you. At this point, bro, it come off two different ways. You feel me? So you probably like, how can I be bold? It's a bunch of ways you could be bold, bro. By flat out saying what's on your mind, saying what you want. Don't beat around the bush. Bro, speak up when you're talking. Do not be speaking low like this, this, that, and the third. Do not speak like that because when you're speaking all low like that, bro, it come off more like, like you low-key scary. Not scary, but you come off more timid and shy. I ain't saying you got to scream or nothing like that, but just kind of speak up and make sure people can hear you when you're talking. You feel me? Another thing you can do to be more bold, bro, is walk with your chest out. Walk like you know who you is. If you walking all nervous and acting like you don't know your, where you at and you don't know your surroundings, it's then the third. You come out scary and you don't come out bold. But when you chest out, your chin up, you walk around like what's good. You walking around masculine and dominant, bro, the girls going to feel that 10 times more. You feel me? Why you think the dudes that walk around like they the shit, they be the shit? Why you think the dudes that walk around like they the shit, be the shit? Ask yourself that. Why you think the dudes that walk around nervous really don't be pulling girls? Why you think the dudes that's all shy and nervous really don't be pulling the girls? And why you think the dudes that's quote-unquote cocky or overconfident? I hate when people say cocky. There's nothing wrong with being cocky. Cocky, cocky technically means you're just confident. 
That's what it means. It, if someone calls you cocky, they just don't have good self-esteem about themselves. Don't listen to them. There's nothing wrong with being cocky, quote-unquote. It just means you know your worth and you know who you is and you're confident in yourself. You feel me? So, nothing is wrong with being cocky. So, get that out your head, bro. Now, being cocky versus lying to yourself is two different things. Don't be lying to yourself. But, bro, be confident in yourself. You feel me? Know your worth. Know who you is when you're talking to anybody. You feel me? Why you think the dudes... My bad, I kind of got off topic. Why you think the dudes that act cocky, act like they the shit, this, down the third, really be the shit? It be because they know they worth. Versus a nigga that's shy and nervous, they don't be pulling no girls. They don't be really getting nothing done because they stopping themselves. They ain't really on nothing. You feel me? Because... You are what you carry yourself like. If you carry yourself like a lame nigga, everybody gonna treat you like a lame nigga. If you carry yourself like a motherfucking king, you carry yourself like that nigga, everybody gonna treat you like you him. Everybody gonna treat you like you somebody because you carry yourself like somebody. Ain't nobody gonna treat you no way that you don't treat yourself. You see what I'm saying? So the way you want to be treated, literally treat yourself. When you start treating yourself how you want other people to treat you, they going to literally hop on and start treating you that way when you do it to yourself. You feel me? So instead of being nervous and stuff, stand up. You feel me? Be yourself. Be confident in yourself. And people going to respect you a lot more when you start doing that. You feel me? There's nothing wrong with being confident. You got to stop being nervous and shy in general because that's just a turn off for girls. Do not do that because you like that, bro. It come off like you don't really know your worth. You don't really know who you is. And don't nobody want to be with nobody that don't know who they is. And another thing, bro, another tip is work on yourself. When a girl know that you're working on yourself or you got something going for yourself or you trying to get something going for yourself bro you already winning you already got the w you already winning it's that simple bro when you focusing on you bro the girl's gonna come somebody gonna like that i'm telling you bro don't no girl want no dude that ain't trying to do nothing that ain't really on nothing but laying in bed sleep all day bro that get lame they get boring a girl want a dude that focus on himself doing something to better himself or just doing something good in general some positive in general you feel me? So make sure you doing something, bro. And don't be one of them niggas that's just in bed all day, on the game all day. You just on the game. You just... What's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, don't do that, bro. It ain't nothing wrong with playing the game or whatever. Cool. Do what you want to do. But at the same time, still have some type of craft. You feel me? And my next thing that lead me to, bro, is working out. I ain't saying you got to be in the gym on some bodybuilder shit. You feel me? I ain't saying you got to be in the gym on some bodybuilder shit. That ain't what I'm telling you. But I am saying, bro, stay in shape. You feel me, bro? You want to make sure that you can goddamn do a couple push-ups. If you can't do 30 to, if you can't do 25 to 30 push-ups, if I tell you to do them right now, like if I say right now, pause the video and give me 30. Everybody try. Pause the video and give me 30, my boy. Come on, let's do it. You feel me? If you couldn't do it, bro, unpause it, bro. If you unpause it or whatever, if you couldn't do 30 push-ups, 25, 30 push-ups, bro, you out of shape, bro. It's that simple. It's that simple, bro. You don't need to be focused on no girl. You need to make sure you can do 30 push-ups before you talk to a girl. If you can't do 30 push-ups, bro, you don't need to talk to no girl, bro. You need to get yourself together first. When you can do 30 push-ups, bro, then you can start talking to girls. And so what I'm saying about this, bro, all jokes aside, bro, if you can do 30 push-ups, bro, you more physically fit. You feel me? A girl want to do it that's physically fit. You feel me? Everybody body type kind of different. Every nigga ain't skinny. I'm kind of skinny, if you see. I'm skinny. Everybody ain't skinny and everybody ain't big. Everybody got different type of body types. You feel me? So... Just make sure that no matter what your body type is, you still in good health. You ain't just around this motherfucker. You can't move. You can't breathe type shit. You feel me? You don't want to be one of them dudes. You feel me? So you want to make sure that kind of you either get yourself right. Like if you not right, if you can't do 30 push-ups right now, if you can't get yourself right right now, you want to try to get yourself right. You want to better yourself. You feel me? Before you talk to any girl. And if you can do it, then you doing good. Just make sure you, you, you maintain it. You feel me? And one more thing, bro. Do not be nervous. When you're nervous, bro, you worried about the future and you worried about the outcome. Take it one step at a time and enjoy every moment of it. That don't even got nothing to do with girls. That's just a little life advice in general. Don't worry about the future. Don't trip out. Don't be nervous. Don't be anxious. Just take it one step at a time. Literally. When you take it one step at a time, bro, you're going to enjoy that junk more. If you eating food and you just eating that junk up, worried about what's next, you're not enjoying that food. But if you're literally taking a bite by bite by bite, you're enjoying that food a lot more. So do that with life, bro. Just take it one step at a time and literally enjoy it. You feel me? But that's really all I got for y'all in today's video. Make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on post notes. Follow me on Instagram if you ain't following me. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, bro. You made it this far to the end. Drop me a thumbs up. I love y'all boys for real. We finna hit 10K real soon. I love y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all next time. I'm out. Hey.